Well, there's a new partnership between health care providers and law enforcement in Camden County to save people from opioid overdose. Those overdoses killed more than 277 people last year in Camden County alone. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here to explain the partnership that will arm more police officers with a life-saving drug. The numbers on this are just mm. It's mm -hmm. astounding, Angry. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is an important step. Narcan is the brand name of the drug naloxone, and it works by counteracting the effects of opioid overdoses. It has saved countless people who would have died without it, and now more will be available in Camden. After three years of heroin addiction, Carly Leonard was desperate for help and desperate for a fix. In 2014, on her way to a rehab facility in Florida, she carried 20 bags of heroin to the airport. I would do anything to put another um, drug in my body. She overdosed at the airport and again on the plane. She was revived with Narcan and hasn't used since. If it wasn't for Narcan and the people that helped me, I wouldn't be here today. Thursday, the 22-year-old told her story to supporters and first responders at Cooper University Healthcare, one of four major health care providers in Camden County that have committed to making bulk purchases of naloxone for police officers. There's four milligrams of the medication that's in here. Camden County Police Officer Officer Tyrell Bagby says this small white dispenser has become as essential as his firearm and his radio. I've uh, approximately used it 25 times. Very important right now to put Narcan in as many people's hands as we can. County Addiction Task Force member Dr. James Baird of Jefferson Health, New Jersey, has seen Narcan save lives, but he says some people believe wrongly that if you go to the ER, they will be arrested. People are not going to judge them. We want you to get help because we don't we don't want to have to see you for the same thing again. Now, Dr. Brent said this is a good first step, but much more needs to be done. He says the county desperately needs at least 200 new beds for addiction treatment. Right now, he says the wait for treatment can be up to three weeks. Critical time. 200 Very critical. new beds is what they need. Yeah. Very critical. Wow. Yeah. All right, Steph, thank you.